bless now, bless now. There's live and large at King of the Pit TV signing in once again. We're sipping on a little cheeky Diet Coke today to go along with the record. I've never listened to this record in my life. Ever. Alright. I've heard maybe two tunes from it. But I don't know if one of them was actually from this record. I think I've heard Blackout Live and I've done a reaction to that on this channel. I've seen Turnstile before. Turnstile are decent. I've been aware of Turnstile since their uh, initial four track was it potentially a five track pressure to succeed uh where they had that one number in particular nah not my love and then from there i sort of dropped out but i did see him um around the period where they put out non-stop feeling and so on and so forth but now they are larger than life and continuing to scale themselves in an ever progressive momentum so without further ado we're going to check out the entire record see what he's saying and see who's moshing people come on this first one is entitled blackout i've had a sip on a bit of body so if i slur from time to time dpmo don't piss me off people blackout That hi-hat's almost sounded like a metronome. Yep, do you know how I remember this tune, people? Because I did a live... I, I, I did a live video of this. And that... Back out in the middle... It just sounds like Fall Out Boy. We're going down, down... Da, 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 da. Come on, people. It's a high-production record. Every second seems to be focused and enhanced and concentrated with a high technological sort of... I, you know what I mean, man. On record, I like the drums sounding like that. As far as practicality goes, though, I don't know if there's something a little bit wrong in not having the actual kit, if that's as to what they're going to be doing live. Hey, you know, different experience, live and on record. What do you think? Leave a comment down below regarding that, please. lead guitar during the chorus is great that chorus is what makes the song and sort of you know pops the tune purely as that initial verse you'd think how a turnstile so big i mean it's a relatively basic riff just with a decent production value on the tune as a whole the vocal is hardly um you know frank sinatra you know we've just got a a relatively clean in pitch vocal line but when that chorus kicks in it doesn't half give you a kick in the face does it really powerful and uh, I personally do like that guitar lick that's played across the top that might be the highlight of that chorus section for me but it really does oomph that dynamic really pops at that point <laughs> But any criticism I have, this has 433k views. It's just an uh, image with the music playing. 2021, 26th of August, this was put up. So, yo, what an incredible fan base. Shout out to Turnstile fans.
How was that structured? Let me just go back a little bit. So they went from a, the chorus to a bridge section straight back into the chorus, which is brilliant because that chorus is really the song. It's the highlight. It's the oomph, the, uh, you know, the pizzazz. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't go into a second verse prior as to which just sort of referred back to the first verse because I thought it was a bit lacking in energy personally. That was hard, that boom then when the riff kicked in, it was like a smashing of such. Very limited, if none at all, palm muting. So just straight power chord riff. Very nice to consider how heavy it is. So a nice little idea at the end, obviously coming through with the ideas. I wonder how much of the band considered this, because I'm sure there must have been an external producer, given the standard as to which they're sort of putting out records at this point, because there's been such an incredible development and so many uh, cool ideas. Uh, but if it is all the band, then, you know what I mean? Very good artistic vision. So that was Blackout. I don't have too much to say, because I have done a talk on a live um, video of this one. It's cool, and just to sort of re-clarify what I said, I said Turnstile in particular are really good at taking one idea, one chord riff or chord melody, and just um, really emphasising on it. No need to faff about by going section to section to section to section. They'll have one decent idea, and they'll just run it into the ground, and they'll you know, break it down a little bit. They'll throw an extra bit of instrumentation in. They'll remove a bit of instrumentation. And then, you know, you might get a little hard hitting riff here and there uh, every once in a while, which is uh, the money maker in it. So, you know how it goes. Let's move on to the next track, people. Yesterday, Lily was wondering if she could ever save enough for her own place. So, to 